Hello everyone, welcome back. So this is second video on group capacity of pile. So in the first video you have seen the capacity of pile in group in case of a granular or a sandy soil. So this one is on a clay soil. So if you have not seen that video, I'll give you the link somewhere on the top. I recommend you go and check out that video first, then you can come back to this video. So this is uh, Mumbai University numerical that I have taken. Uh, the values are almost similar as the first video. I have changed a uh, few things are different from the first video. So what we have, we have a square group of nine piles in a soft clay uh, and uh, diameter of pipe pile is 30 centimeter, length is nine meter. And we have been given unconfined compressive strength of the clay that is 90 kilometer per meter square. Pile spacing is 90 centimeter center to center. So we have been asked what is the capacity of group and assuming factor of safety 2.5 and adhesion factor 0.75. So first thing that we'll do, we'll uh, create this diagram. So nine piles are arranged into the square group. This is what we have. So the spacing is 90, uh, 9.9 meters. There is a spacing given, yeah. So 90 centimeters spacing was given. I have converted that into the meters. And uh, we have given data N, this is a new thing. N is the number of pile nine. This is the diameter. I have taken the diameter into the meters, spacing in meters. Unit weight, I think unit weight is not required and it is not even given here. So this is here by mistake. Uh, length of the pile is nine meter. Factor of safety is given by 4S 2.5. Adhesion factor alpha is given 0.75. So, and of course, one of the most important thing, unconfined compressive strength is given QU equals to 90 kilometer per meter square. So this numerical is solved in two cases. Case one, we consider the block failure. Case two, we consider the individual failure of the pile. So you will see one by one uh, how we do both of these cases. So in case of a case one, so this is our given data. Uh, our group capacity of the in case of black block failure is given by this formula C dash NC into area of pile in block, uh, area of block and plus C into ASB. So what is this ASB? ASB is the surface area of the block and this APB is a cross section area of the block. So what we'll do first thing, we'll determine the value of C dash and C. Uh, usually these values are given in the numerical. If they are not given, uh, instead of values of C dash and C, sometimes you are given these values C and C dash are differently or sometimes uh, if they are not given differently, assume both of them as the same. So if the value of C dash is not given, but the QU is given, that is unconfined compression strength. So what you can do, just divide the value of QU by two and you get the value of C. So this is what we have studied in shear strength chapter. So the value of C equals to 90 by two, i.e. 45 kilonewton per meter square. So we got the first parameter C dash. Second is NC. The value of NC is usually given in the numerical. If it is not given in the numerical for a soft to medium hard clay, you can assume the value of NC as a nine, okay? Uh, next thing is APB, that is area of uh, block because it is a block failure. So we need to determine the area of the block. Area of the block is this. So this is our block. This entire nine pi arrangement is called as a block. So the area will be B by B as it is a square arrangement. So B square, we don't have the value of B as we have done in a previous numerical. B can be equals to two times of S. So this S plus this S, that is I'm determining in this direction. So two times of S plus this T by two plus this T by two. So this is what you get B equals to two S plus D by two, T by two. So that gives us B equals to two. S is nothing but the spacing 0.9. D is nothing but 0.3. So we get a value of B equals to 2.1. So if you want to determine the APB now, just 2.1 square. 
So the APB will be equal to 2.1 square. We get answer as 4.41 meter square. Uh, so uh, next thing uh, we'll just put. We got all the values. We got the C dash N C A P B C, but we don't have the value of A S P. This is the surface area of the block. Surface area of the block can be determined using this formula. Four times y four because you have a square block like this. Each side is B. So one, two, three. Four. That's why four times of B multiply by length. So length will be perpendicular to this screen that you see in front of you. So four times of B into L, you get a uh, surface area of block as a seventy-five point six meters. Uh, remember one important thing here is uh, we don't determine critical length in case of a soft clay or clay soil. Uh, critical length is only required in case of a Sandy soil. It is not required in case of clay soil. So there is a one small difference between soft clay and sandy soil. Now we have all the values. Just put all the values into the formula. This is your, I think, C dash. This is your N C. This is your area of the block. Plus this is your small C. Then this is your surface area of the block. So once you do the calculation, you get the value of Q U G that is equals to five one eight eight point zero five kilo newton. So in previous video, what I had done, I had by mistakenly I had written this value as a kilo newton per meter square, but actually it is in kilo newton. Uh, next, so this is your case one and C. You have determined the value of Q U G. Uh, in next case two, what we'll do, we'll again determine the value of Q U G, but considering individual failure. So we had considered the block failure, which means all the uh, num whatever the number of piles are there, all of them are going to fail at a one same time. But here, what will happen? The pile will fail individually. So in this case, so this is your given data, which is similar, no change. The formula changes a little bit. Now what is changing? You can see n over here. So n is there, c and c as it is. A p is there. And A S is there. So, what is this A B and what is this A S? A B is a cross section or area of the individual pile. Why individual pile? Because we are considering individual cross sections of the pile. Okay. And uh, you have A S. A S is a surface area of the individual pile. So we determined the pile capacity for individual pile. Then we multiply it by the N. This is what you see. Over here, so C is same and C is same. Uh, adhesion factor alpha is given to you in the numerical 0.75, so no need to worry about it. Only thing that we have to do now is determine the value of this A B and this A S. Rest of the things we already have with us. So this A B, as it is a cross section area and the pile is a circular pile, that's why the cross section area will be 5 by 4 into d square. B we already have 0.3, so you just put it into the formula. You get the value of A P as 0.07 meter square. Second A S. Now A S is a surface area, and as it is a cylinder, cylinder surface area is pi d l. So you have pi d is the diameter, l is the length. Again, uh, don't put the value of l as l c. L is a complete l. So Pi is pi. Uh, D is 0.39. L is nothing but nine. So you get surface area of the individual pile as 8.47 meters square. Now what we have to do? Just put all the values into the formula. So uh, this is nine. Is this nine is nothing but the n, which is the number which we already have from the given data. The rest of the things we have just calculated. So once you put Uh, do the calculation, you get Q U G as two eight two seven point nine one kilo newton. Again, uh, this is kilo newton, not kilo newton per meter square. So this is how you determine the group capacity of pile in case of individual failure. Now we haven't reached our final answer. So so what we have got so far? We have got two values. First Q U G in case of a block failure. Another Q U G in case of individual failure. 
so which one of these is the final answer the final answer is always the smaller one why smaller one because smaller one gives you uh, a good factor of safety so what we'll do for final allowable load will be your qug whichever is the smaller divided by factor of safety so the smaller one is for the individual case so the individual case 2827.91 divided by fos that is factor of safety 2.5 and that value comes approximately equals to 1131 kN so this is how you solve group capacity of pile uh, in case of a clay soil uh, next what we'll do in next video tutorial we'll see the group efficiency of the pile both in case of a sandy soil as well as clay soil uh, that's it if you have any question any doubt uh, you can let me know in the comment you can download this uh, notes uh, into the description box i'll give you the link over there as usual thanks guys for watching take care